We have another video for Math Pace 1086. This pace is a challenging one. Wow. This is pages 35 to 37 talking about square roots. <clears throat> this symbol that looks like a check mark and a division sign pieced together means the square root or uh, what number times itself equals 25. We call this symbol a radical, okay? I don't know who makes this stuff up, but anyways, that's what it is. It's called a radical. The number underneath is called the radicand. Again, I don't think you have to know that, but let's, let's get used to the terminology. So this, this radical over the radicand of 25 means what number times itself equals 25. And hopefully you know the answer to that. That is five, okay? Do you know what number times itself equals 144? If you are thinking of the number 11, you're wrong. It is more than that because 11 times 11 is 121. Let's try 12. 12 times 12, yes, is the square root of 144. We can do the same thing with letters. What letter times itself equals a squared? Okay, that's not too hard. That would be a. And then x to the fourth. Well, what times itself would equal x to the fourth? And I'm going to write this one out so you see it. It would be x squared times x squared. Because remember, when you multiply and the base is the same, we add the exponents. Okay? So let me erase and just write x squared would be the answer. Now, we actually are not done because 5 times 5 equals 25. But did you think of this? Negative 5 times negative 5 would also be 25, right? As long If they're both positive or they're both negative, the negatives would cancel and you'd have positive 25. So we actually have two answers, positive 5 and negative 5. So mathematicians have a shortcut way of writing that that's a little bit easier. And instead of writing it like this, we write the plus and the minus, kind of put them together, and then the 5. So that means plus or minus 5. So I really need to do that with all of these and say plus or minus 12 because negative 12 times negative 12 is 144. Plus or minus a plus or minus x squared, okay? So that's what square root means. Now, again, I would suggest you pause this video and just do that one page and then go to the score key and check that. Um, I want to move into, though, the next concept, which is taking numbers that you can't just real easily find the square root. What's the square root of 200? It's not 100, okay? You don't think, it, don't think about it being half. Um, the square root of 50 is not 25, okay, it's not half, it's what number times itself, kind of like we did here, 5 times 5 is 25. So what the pace has us do when we have a large number like this is we try to think of a perfect square like 25 or 36, okay, um, that multiplied times another number would give us this. So I'm thinking about 200. Yeah, I could do 25 times 8, but there's a bigger perfect square. 100. What is 100? 100 is 10 times 10. So let me write this as the square root of 100 times the square root of 2. So I'm breaking this apart. Square root of 100, square root of 2. 2 times 100 is 200. The square root of 100 is 10. Okay? So that kind of like pops out from under the radical, and I just get the number 10, and then I have to keep the square root of 2 as part of the answer. Put the plus or minus in front of it. Okay? So this actually is the final answer. Plus or minus 10 square root of 2. Now the 50 is 25 times 2. So we can split this and say the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. The square root of 25 is 5, okay? 
and then we just keep the square root of 2. Now, 32 you can divide by 4. That's a perfect square. Let's see if we can go a little bigger. Uh, 4 times 4 is 16. Ooh. So let's try 16, and that would be times 2, okay? 16 times 2 is 32, and the square root of 16 is 4. So 4 square root of 2, I have a lot of uh, square root of 2s in my answer. I didn't intend to do that. Let's take the uh, square root of 54. Remember, because you can add 5 plus 4 and get 9, then this number is divisible by 9, and 9 is a perfect square. Yay! So let's do square root of 9 and square root of 6. Okay, now we've got a different one. The square root of 9 is plus or minus 3, and then we tack on the square root of 6. Okay, so this is the method that the PACE presents in, uh, in how to do this type of concept. I'm going to do another short video with a Mr. Anger method that I use with my students. If it helps you, great. If it confuses you, then skip it and just stick to the method and the pace. All right. But I'll stop this video for now and uh, re-record a different video with an alternate method.